This is something interesting that I want to share with you. And it's quite amazing how our body really functions to help to protect the baby while they are sick. The one on the, the pouch on the left is the breast milk that I extracted on December 20th. And the one on the right is breast, breast milk that I extracted on January 4th. That was the time Paige started to develop, develop a cold. And as you can see, the one on the right, it's a yellow color because it has more antibodies and more white blood cells to help to protect the baby. The way that that works is that while she's latched on to my chest, her saliva sends signals to my body and my body responds to it by protecting her. And every time she latches on, it gives her, say for instance, hind milk, more hind milk, more fore milk, etc. And it's just amazing that our bodies even know high milk, I think, is the fat. Four milk is the more watery substance consistency. Not only does it does our bodies produce the fat, more fat or more um, four milk if needed for the baby, but it also produces antibodies when the baby is sick and it also produces more white blood cells. So as you can see, they're two different colors. It's a way to protect the baby. Yes, go Paige, go Paige. You guys have seen me make this shake plenty of times before. This is my oat shake. One of the benefits that comes with this shake is that it helps me to produce more breast milk. So I just like to add oats, peanut butter, a little pinch of salt, some stevia to sweeten the shake, and a banana. So this is my oats are going in first. Then I'm gonna add my ice. I hate to add the ice lettuce because it takes up a lot of space. Three cubes of ice. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of peanut butter. Peanut butter, add some stevia. Stevia has an acquired taste that if you use too much of it, the, the whatever that you're trying to sweeten, it becomes like bitter, it has like a bitter taste. So it's just best to just use uh, at least a tablespoon, not even a tablespoon, a tablespoon is too much, a teaspoon to your shakes and it'll help to sweeten it without giving you that insulin spike. All right. Well, that's one of the benefits, and one of the reasons why I like to use stevia. My banana, and then a pinch of salt. All right. Oh, I almost forgot vanilla extract, just a little bit. Last, going to use some almond milk. One of my favorite milks to use. Some people prefer hemp seed or coconut milk, but I like the almond milk. All right, that's plenty. And now just blend the ingredients together. My old shake, one of my favorite shakes. This is so addictive. All right, you guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Take care.